When do you think is a good time for my colleagues and those in the small business world to think about an exit? So I think you have to back up a little bit, Todd, and think about two things. Personally, what are you looking for in your life? And then professionally, what are your needs? Mm -hmm. So if you were to say to yourself, uh, hey, I'm a dentist. Uh, I've started doing dentistry at 28 years old, essentially. And I'd prefer to get out before the eyes go, the hands go, the back is sore. Uh, let's say 30, 35 years, then you're 55 to 60 at that point. And then if uh, liquidating or selling the practice as we know it is part of the plan to add to the critical mass of savings, although it shouldn't be, we don't recommend that the sale of your practice is critical in your financial independence. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're not well financial said. planners, right. But um, but it's a large asset. It might be one of the largest assets that a dentist might own. And so we believe it's important to prepare for the sale and then uh, maximize the value, the enterprise value of the practice. The short answer, Todd, to your question is five years, minimum five years right. to prepare yep. for the potential sale of the office. 